So this right back behind me is where I'm heading right towards that point. It's like 10 miles of rock and lava field and the trail is uh, it's not super forgiving. Looks like this. So I've been, been climbing up these uh, huge lava fields, miles of it, and uh, you can see kind of where I came from back there in the distance. There's the mountain, and uh, yeah, this is a this is a nice climb. You can see I'm definitely heating up, running up this stuff, and uh, I'm enjoying it. It's so different. Trail's getting super diverse now. It's pretty awesome. It's nice to have finally gotten through the rocky section and back up here in the mountains, but I still have about 10 miles to go before I can run into Sarah. And then we're going to actually take a quick detour and record some music in Portland. Been alone. No warmth in my bed, no calls on my phone line. Left here in the dark. I lost my life, I miss my spine. And I wonder where have you been? Where are you go? Why you gone so long? And will you come back? It's so nice that the trail isn't too far away from Portland, so that we can take some time to lay down these songs that I've been working on for the last two years. Oh, I hope. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Over the past year, I've watched Sarah work so hard on this album, and to see it finally come to fruition is amazing. And I've got a few songs that I want to lay down as well. Wise man, he falls sometimes The edge between wisdom and pride Heading down to Portland was a great opportunity for both of us to record these songs and also provided a little rest and relaxation. But right now, it's back up on the trail and we gotta make some miles. So Sarah and I, we just got back from from Portland where uh, Sarah laid down some beautiful songs. I haven't put down a track as well. And, and uh, we are back in the mountains up on the crest now. It's about 8.30 in the morning. We don't have any cell signal up here, so it's, it's kind of tricky. I committed to meeting her in about 39 miles, which ordinarily wouldn't be a big day, but pretty much this whole run has been a slow recovery from my knee injury, so. Hopefully that's not pushing it too much. Right now, I'm feeling awesome. Hopefully I'll keep smiling at the end of the day and feel awesome as well, again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted on the run. Should be really epic. Look like there's some big mountains ahead and lots of lakes. Lots of stuff for an epic adventure. <laughs> So 
so as I'm running, I just thought I'd do kind of a quick little uh, interview here about about food on the trail because a lot of people are asking me like, what are you packing? You know, because now see me out there fishing, hunting squirrels and you know, all that stuff that they're used to on, on uh, other shows that I've been on. And uh, it's it's been a mixture of uh, a lot of different things. I'm definitely gathering a lot of plants. Fortunately, there's tons of berries available. I'm really big on the traditional Native American foods too, like like in my bottle here. Um, let me pull this out. I've got uh, chia seeds that are soaking, and that's pretty much a go-to every single day. I do this once or twice a day. I soak chia seeds in there, and sometimes I'll add a little bit of lime or a little emergency packet that you could buy to kind of add a little flavor to it, which is really nice. And uh, been big on some nuts and dried berries, like goji berries I'm really enjoying on the trail for uh, salts and stuff. Like either salted nuts or just even a bag of chips sometimes is nice. Not very hunter-gatherer-esque, but you know, just to get the salt and fat in there, you tend, you tend to start craving salts more than you realize. And um, I try to eat pretty healthy. I don't, I don't eat any refined sugars or anything like that. So, you know, limits choices in terms of energy food, but you know, I look for some organic, you know, bars and stuff when we're going through town that kind of pack in a punch and that's a good little supplement. But overall, that's the bulk of it. When I meet Sarah, we, we eat a ton of rice and spirulina, a lot. We bo like both wild rice and brown rice, so that's a really good restorative energy food. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the bulk of it. I won't lie, we, we definitely gone out a couple times and um, when we were in Portland recording, had a little uh, <clears throat> a little Thai food one night. It was awesome. <laughs> All the good stuff culture can offer, but out here on the trail, try to keep it pretty simple. Checking in, it's been absolutely beautiful run so far. I'm, uh, you see, I got some headphones in here. I've been listening to Bal Morea, Patty Griffin, Blind Pilot, and uh, others, and uh, been pretty awesome. And uh, up and coming artist actually named Sarah Banker, who's got to check her work out. And uh, but anyways, yeah, about 15 miles in, and uh, feels good so far. Beautiful day, just 24. 24 or five more miles to go and uh, I'll meet Sarah at the end of this lake here really nice mountains through here I just went over a beautiful pass got a beautiful snow covered sp splotchy snow covered mountain in front of me that's amazing cold day frost all over the ground today Just off the beaten path, the trail that caught his eye. He found a place to view the world. Clear blue skies, he is on the trail. Yeah, on nice the trail. View. On the trail, that's where he'll be.
One of the things I love about being up on the higher elevations of the Pacific Crest Trail is you get the pure mountain streams running through and these crystal clear lakes. It's just amazing. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> this is that one day I'm getting my butt kicked. I had just a few more miles to go to see Sarah, but trail's climbing over one more steep mountain pass. Looks like I have another 1,500 feet of climbing before I drop down off the backside. Woo, up and down. Nice roller coaster today. <sighs> oh yeah. So right now it's getting pretty late and uh, yeah, I'm pretty tired. I'm actually starting to slow down a little bit. I had another pass to climb before see, seeing Sarah and it, it's funny, I felt great about a few miles back, but uh, you now I still, yeah, I feel like I'm kind of in this crazy zone. It's getting a little bit late, the sun's starting to set um, and a major storm is coming up the valley. So I'm gonna put the phone away and sprint up to Sarah and hopefully she's not too worried because it's a little bit later we anticipated with all the climbing up and down but uh, <sighs> still smiling I must say it's still pretty awesome I mean look at that look at that scene behind me that's just I mean, you can't find that in the city <sighs> yeah that was a bit close I just made it down to the dirt road I'm supposed to meet Sarah at about a half a mile from here, so uh, I hope she find a, found a good campsite, was able to relax and set up and not worry about this mountain man. But I'll be strolling in a little late tonight. That was, uh, that was quite the doozy. That, that was a really rough section. I think by far the roughest section and the most miles that I had put on just up and down. The grades were much steeper than climbing in and out of the Grand Canyon in many spots. So I'm glad to have an open road. At least I'll be able to see easily tonight. Walking. Hopefully Sarah's around this here somewhere. Sarah set up last night and uh, kind of a crazy night. Got here pretty late. She's uh, wrapping up things I'm going to take off this morning. There she is. All bundled up. It's starting to get super cold right now. So we are uh, bundled up more and more. But um, yeah, uh, last night was a doozy. It was a big climb um, up and down those rocks and it took a lot longer than I thought. I could, I, even in the talus, I could barely run three or four miles an hour. So hopefully today will be a little bit smoother. We're gonna continue north, see what happens. Wow, look at all these clouds everywhere, blowing across the trail right in front of me. I love spots like this. It's just something to be in up in the clouds like this, and, but not being in an airplane. Like, yeah, like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it feels good. Must I wonder how many steps must I take along? So many things I seem to ponder, but I'm just trying to find my way home. Places I want to see. Oh, there's friends I trust to see the better side of me. But these roads I keep taking far and wide are bringing me down. 
But there ain't no place like my hometown. <laughs>